Good morning. Today we're going to talk about Nanoparticle Literature Project by Miguel, Med, and Fine, Kim 117, Odd Section 611. Introduction. Nanofluids have been attracting the attention of many scientists because of its excellent thermophysical properties. In addition, nanofluids have a much higher thermal conductivity than microfluids. There are many factors that have an effect on the thermal conductivity of nanofluids. For example, temperature, the characteristics of the base fluid, and the characteristics of the nanoparticles themselves. The consequences of nanoparticles' characteristics on the thermal conductivity of nanofluids is mainly based on the types, concentrations, sizes, and stabilization, stabilization technique of nanoparticles. Recently, experts have attempted to use AI approaches to represent difficult engineering issues in a variety of applications. AI-based models, for example, are used to forecast the effective thermal conductivity of nanofluids. So what type of nanoparticles did we use in this experiment? In this study, we created TiO2 water nanofluids with four different nanoparticle shapes. For example, spherical, ellipsoidal, cleft, and sheet nanoparticles for reference. The effective thermal conductivities of samples with varying nanoparticle concentrations were determined as a function of temperature. Aside from the actual investigations, we concentrated on developing an AI-based model for accurate assessments of effective thermal conductivity of nanofluids, which first evaluated the effect of nanoparticle morphologies on nanofluid thermal conductivity. The unique AI-based model simply assessed the effective nanoparticle morphologies on the effective thermal conductivity of nanofluids and demonstrated excellent estimation based on literature data sets. So what is the application of the thermal properties of nanoparticles? Well, fast and efficient heat transfer is very useful in many industries and many devices. For example, in batteries, we want to be able to keep them cool so they'll overheat. Nanoparticles offer a unique solution to this because they have a greater thermal conductivity than microparticles in pure solutions due to, uh, due to brownie motion and also uh, surface area and also unique heat paths provided by them. So the key of this study is uh, to help it's to help fill in knowledge so that we can better predict the therm thermal conductivities of nanoparticles so that we can create closer to an ideal solution for these applications. Additionally, it should be known that there is a correlation between the brownie motion and thermal conductivity. So the more brownie motion there is in the nanoparticle solution, the higher thermal conductivity there is. Knowing this, the researchers decided to study how the shape would affect the um, thermal conductivity because as they found out, as they found out from other studies, the shape does have an effect on brownie motion, and it also creates different heat paths, which will overall affect the thermal conductivity. So other studies, had, other studies had already confirmed experimentally that nanoparticles do affect, the shape does affect the thermal conductivity, and other studies had already used AI in nanoparticles, so, and, and had used that successfully. So they went from that. So, yeah, the application of AI to this is that since the correlation is very complex, they decided to use AI like any other studies so that they could create a correlation like easier. And also, they, uh, they did this to be able to practice and further AI use in scientific research. Go. Okay, so I will talk about what exactly did nanoparticles do. So this experiment, we're going to use TiO2 and water nanofluids with four different forms, like much mentioned earlier, like we have spherical, ellipsoidal, carpet, and sheet. So we're gonna access with the, effect, the effective thermal conductivities of the samples, starting concentration from 0 0.5 to 4 volume percentage as function of temperature from like 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. So this experiment, temperature is really significant factors. Like it's, 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 it is significant. Like if you increase it, and also you increase nanoparticle concentrations, it will result in a striking improvement of like relative, relative thermal conductivity or RTC for short of nanofluids. So this improvement, what happened with this improvement? It will intensify the Brownian motion. What is Brownian motion? Brownian motion is like the random motion of particles, of the particles and it is related to thermal conductivities like Mikael mentioned earlier. So it will do that at high temperature and the efficient, the efficient collision of nanoparticles at high concentration. So I have a figure right here. There are four shapes of nanoparticles. Like it is the figure of like 
how the concentration rise like corresponded to how uh, the particle rise with higher RTC and water nanofluids. The, the RTC of nanofluids can glow as long as nanoparticles do not cluster and settle. Okay, so otherwise nanoparticle concentration will be like a significant or crucial issue right here. So effect of temperature depends on volume fraction of nanoparticles. The accumulation of nanoparticles decreases the heat transfer performance of nanofluids, which is the main reason for the different performance of thermal conductivity enhancement of nanofluids. So I took this diagram from the text. It's the diagram of comparing the performance of previous models. As you can see in the figure right here, the green triangle is always the leader. Like it, 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 it always has like the highest RDC like in each nanoparticle concentration volume percentage. And the experiment is always in the middle. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, I'm Alex Otto, and I'm talking about what current technology or method this is improving upon. The uses of nanofluids are broad and have the potential to greatly impact people on the individual level and society as a whole. They can be utilized for straight heat transfer enhancement, for example, in a variety of industrial applications as they're much more advanced and reliable than current pure-based fluids due to being capable of adding additional nanoparticle materials containing greater thermal conductivity properties in order to enhance the heat transfer process. Furthermore, they have a wide reuse of medical uses, including a potential cure for cancer in the form of pinpoint accurate tumor destruction. Now, current cancer treating practices typically involve widespread cell damage and death, such as chemotherapy, in order to kill every last cancer cell, as well as tumor removal via surgery. And these methods of treating cancer can be extremely harmful or even potentially fatal to the patient. Now, however, tests are being performed for a method of treating cancer involving the injection of nanofluids containing nanoparticles that are capable of targeting and killing cancer cells via enhancing thermal conductivity. This method of treatment ensures that only the cancer cells are killed and is much safer than current practices. Thank you.